Yes, yes, it's been a while. Everyone knows. Ah, where was I? Ah, yes. Two unlikely versions of one impossible story. The Hyperion salaryman who stumbled across the perfect plan to defeat his rival. The bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Hijacking the secret purchase of the ultimate prize, a vault key. Finding co-conspirators was easy. Finding real vault keys never is. Then there's the Pandoran Hustler, who conspired to sell a fake vault key. But unfortunately, plans don't often go, you know, as planned. A bullet saved is a bullet earned. And now, they were stuck with each other. With nothing to gamble but their lives. So, they prepared to face psychos, warlords, even vault hunters. For betrayal, no one is prepared for betrayal. She tried to stop him, Felix, but it was too late. The money was gone, but the path to a vault key was right under their feet. Below the arena, they found the Gortis Project, Atlas's crown jewel, along with a lost king, looking to regain his throne. It has been forever since the last episode. Jesus. I'm up. Hey! I'm up. Seriously, can you use your words? <sighs> You're just wasting bullets with that thing. Mm, yeah, okay. Aw, oh, come on, you drooled on me! Huh? Oh, yeah, that's a. Wow, that's a lot. I am feeling a little dehydrated. <laughs> God, what is wrong with you? There. Kinky. Now we're even. You are a monster! Stop! I'm gonna let you out of those restraints. Don't make me regret it, because you'll regret it much more. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah, okay. Yeah, we, that works for me. Let's do that. We've got a long way to go. We should move before the sun's up. Uh, can I please hit him once? Just to get it out of my system. You gotta work on your anger management. All this animosity is not good for- Just one. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm good. Uh, you punched me in the neck. Let's go. Bitch. Now, where were we? Well... <laughs> what is it? Reese, buddy, you, uh, you all right? Hey, Reese, what is your problem? He gets, uh, headaches sometimes. Uh, probably just a glitch in his wiring. He's all right. He, you know, just probably needs some air. So, uh, upstairs, where there's more air, because it's higher, and... Hey, what's up with that map? Computer enhance. I don't think it can hear you. Oh, that's what it wants us to think. You hear me, machine? I'm on to you. Enhance. Enhance computer images. Stop it! This is not how computers work. Where are you from? You you don't just yell enhance at the screen. <laughs> Maybe I can bring up a legend on this thing. Ah! 
I'm okay. Did you break it? Go ahead, Fiona. Uh, pick it up. You gotta pick up that one. You touched it once already. Yeah. Yeah. She'll be fine. Come on, Fiona. This one has a jewel thing in it. I should pick that one up. Yeah. I don't understand. You and Reese are the only ones that didn't shock. Maybe they're somehow imprinted on you. Vintage Atlas. Uh, incredible! Retinal scanner online. Security protocol engaged. Retinal the scan required. The fuck was that? Please step forward and identify yourself. Uh, maybe we should get out while we have the chance. That map could lead us to a vault. We're not leaving until we know exactly where it's telling us to go. Please step forward and identify yourself. So it's been like five months since the last episode. Uh, I remember the first episode and probably thinking it's my favorite Telltale game episode of any type, whether it be Game of Please Thrones, Walking Dead, Wolf Among Us. Yourself. So I've been really looking forward to this for a while. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's talk to you. It's not him. Well, let's... Come on. Guess I should have known it'd go like this. Yeah, it was really useful to know. There's someone in there. What do you mean, someone? Who is it? Are they alive? No idea who it is, but they are very much not alive. How do you know? You don't know that. Don't make assumptions. What's taking so long? The f fuck? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Retinal scan failed. Employee not recognized. Alerting General Pollux. Oh, craps. That's probably not- Wait. You hear that? Sosh, cover me while I take a look. Atlas could have booby-trapped the whole place. Got it. Okay, so- we're, oh, all right, so we have an inventory system. It looks like- I don't rem- I, I recognize some of these things, you know, like the psycho mask. I remember that from the last episode. Doesn't seem like it can- pick any of it up, though. Yeah, whatever. Anyway. So where are we going? Okay, not that way. I already looked at the abandoned lunch tray. That had nothing for me. Looked at the strange cabinet. Ah, fuck it. Look at it again. Yeah, good idea. Oh, whoa, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's... Exactly what I thought I was going to see. Well, now all we have to do is get his eye to that retinal scanner. Brilliant. Um, maybe we can just scoot him over to the computer. Well... That's not gonna work. Yeah, he's wedged in there pretty tight. Now what? Well, it's a retina scanner, right? We don't actually need all of him for that. Great idea. Exactly what I was thinking. Look at his uniform. Atlas military, high ranking at that. Ooh, how much he got? Not that much. Now you'd think a general would have more walking around money on him? Not necessarily. 
Ah, eyeball. His eyes are pretty creepy. You're basically doing him a favor. I'm not sure he would agree. If you try to rip it out with your bare hand, you'll just end up squishing it. Uh, if you have a better idea. Any other idea would be a better idea! No, oh, fuck you then. So I gotta adjust the microphone one second. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's find. Oh, the lunch tray, right. Yeah, it had a fork. A spork, actually. That's probably better. Oh, hey, it's a spoon and a fork! Ha! <laughs> How about that? Shut up. Oh, wait, that's not. Yep. The eyes gotta come out one way or another. Awesome. Okay, this is... Okay. Yeah, yeah, you, you gotta do it. I, I gotta do it. I gotta do it, so I just... Just shove that into his face. Why do you have to say it like that? I'm just saying Did you just do it already? Okay! Mm. Ugh. Why did that just happen? Oh man, you split the eye right in half. All the juice from the thing. Is... Why are you describing it to me? I know, I did it. Right, sorry. Look, all I'm saying is, you got one more shot. Right, because he's got two eyes. One eye, now. You've got a knack for numbers, don't you? I'll just wait over there. Here we go. I feel like it would make more sense to just cut his legs off. I'll even use the spork they did on Happy Tree Friends. Right, so far so good. Stop talking to me. Gross. Ooh, I can't tell if that's looking better or looking worse. It's looking way worse. Trust me. If you're gonna puke, do it on the floor, please. This is me helping. Not doing a very good job. Ooh, ugh, you almost, you almost got it. Just cut the thing, holding it to the, the thing. Whoa! Look I out. got it. Thank you. Hey, and you didn't crush it. I totally would have crushed it. Let's just get this thing over to the scanner. Good idea. Here we are. Message one. Athena. Gortis facility. Old Haven. Hello, Pollux. Too bad I missed you in Old Haven. As you've no doubt surmised, the Gortis project has been terminated. And now that you have no soldiers under your command, I regret to inform you that you've been relieved of your duties. I'll come by soon to ease your transition into retirement. Uh, what's Old Haven? It's an Atlas mining town. It's been abandoned for years. Which makes it the perfect place to hide a Gordis project. Whatever that is. Message 2. General Pollux. Memorandum. If you're watching this, then I'm already in suspended animation. You must understand, Athena was trying to kill me, and what I possess is far too powerful to end up in the arsenal of a ruthless mercenary. If Athena is no longer a threat, please activate the revival protocol in my stasis dock. My life, and quite possibly the fate of the universe, is in your hands. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Does that mean he was... Oh, when you scooped... Oh, ah. No way. No. No, he had to be dead <sighs> when we... Don't. Just... Don't. Shit. So, I guess we're going to Old Haven. Reese, you want to take a look at... <laughs> oh, ouch. I'm fine. Do you need our help? No. I'm... I'm good. 
Wait, what? I, I didn't hit my head. What are you talking about? I saw you hit that girder. No, 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 no. I, I, I hit my head on that, but I didn't hit my head when I fell into the computers. And obviously there wasn't a geyser of blood. There was quite a bit of blood. This is all fascinating, very thorough. But what about Jack? Oh, right. Jack. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Gordis Project. And it's gonna lead us to a vault. And then I'll probably kill you. <laughs> what? Okay, here's what's gonna happen. You, uh, I'm sorry, uh, what's your name again? Come on, spit it out, dum-dum. I don't have all day. I, uh... Oh, good. You work for me. I thought, I thought I was gonna have to get violent there for a second. Or more violent. Come on. Time's a waste. Turrets, no automated defenses. <laughs> it's like Atlas is just begging us to take it. Come on, Cupcake, what's the holdup? Get over here! Okay, shit. Yeah, I know, I'm your hero, you're my biggest fan, blah, blah, blah. Welcome to the club. Just trying to wipe yourself again. You might sort something out there. All right, take notes, kiddo. I'm not one to repeat myself. Our first step is secure the area. Not enough to attract bandits, just enough to keep out the gawkers. Jack, what? No, no, this is impossible. Jack, you're... You're dead. Uh, I'm dead? I'm sorry, what's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me, little man? What? No, 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 no. Why did that just happen? Um, oh, shut up. Are you screaming because you're in pain or are you just freaking out because this is really weird? It, it is. It is weird. Please don't kill me. I'm trying to help. This is just, doesn't make any sense. Stand still, damn it. Stop doing that! It's like I told you. Handsome Jack is dead. No, 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 no. That's impossible. I, I can't die. No, no, that's stupid. No way. Oof. Never had to tell someone they died before, so... Uh, sorry? That must suck. Uh, heroes don't die. <laughs> uh, especially not before the story gets to the good part. This doesn't make any sense. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm handsome, Jack. <laughs> I don't die. Hey, there's too much left to do. I'm not, not happening. Not happening. Hey, give me a cupcake. Just let me try to rip your throat out one more time. Just one more time. Give me. A... What? No, no. Uh, you see, I think I just gotta be quicker about it. That's what it is. Stand still, damn it, Jack. You're dead. Deal with it. Killing people. That's how I deal with things. <laughs> Come on, just, just, just let it happen. <laughs> You're so stupid. Watch your head, damn it. Do you need our help? Oh! Freeze! So much pain. Why am I still conscious? I don't understand. Reese, hey, you all right? What the hell are you doing? You're acting strange. I, I know this sounds weird, but I just, I just saw Handsome Jack. What are you saying? Handsome Jack, he was, he was next to me. Right, okay. Well, you had quite a spill there. Let's just get you up off this thing. Here you go. You know, these fumes can't possibly be helping. Pretty out of it. I'm seeing stars. Shooting stars. Moonshots. Moonshots, really? 
Moonshots? We need to get out of here! Oh, shit. The Loaderbot! Loaderbot, hey! Oh, I see. Now you need me. Thanks. 